Skywatch Media News for October the 7th, 2020. Significant bolid fireball events took place across multiple locations in both North and South America within the past week. In Brazil's Rio Grande do Sul and across Santa Catarina, a tremendous fireball lit up the sky on October the 1st. The Brazilian Meteor Observation Network captured the phenomenon observed from various camera locations. The preliminary analysis show that the very bright fireball began to shine at about 89.5 kilometers over the rural area to the east of Casillas del Sol, and it traveled north northwest at 60,900 kilometers per hour at an entrance angle of 44 degrees to the ground. The bright meteor disintegrated during six seconds, easily overcoming the full moon's brightness, and it finally exploded at an altitude of 22 kilometers over the city of Vicaria, also within the state of Rio Grande do Sul. A superbolid is an immensely luminous meteor that can shine brighter than the full moon. In Brazil, the space rock that tore through the atmosphere turned night into day in various locales, causing streetlights to turn off in some cities across its path. If you were watching closely, you may have noticed a separate piece of the meteor or some other unidentified object that flew off in the opposite direction from where it was traveling across the landscape before exploding in a flash of light behind the mountain. On September 30th at 6.24 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, an immense bolid fireball said to be an asteroid fragment blazed across the sky over the east-central U.S. and was witnessed by hundreds of observers across 15 states and portions of Canada. The trajectory, based on numerous reports submitted to the American Meteor Society, indicates that the fireball, similar to the one in Brazil, was traveling from the southeast towards the northwest, where its visible flight was last seen somewhere over North Benton, Ohio. This particular event has become the most widely reported fireball in the United States since July of the year 2019. 
I recently reported on a strange meteor that entered the atmosphere over Germany and the Netherlands. At the moment of its entry, the fireball appeared to be moving perpendicular to the horizon before disappearing into the night. This meteoroid was picked up by the Global Media Network in the early hours of September the 22nd. According to the European Space Agency, this meteor was a rare earth grazer that journeyed as low as 56 miles above the Earth, somehow managing to escape Earth's gravity, before abruptly bouncing back into space. It was traveling at 21 miles per second. Most notably, this meteoroid was traced back to a Jupiter family orbit, but unfortunately its parent body has not been located. It's remarkable to think that a meteoroid can bounce off of the Earth's atmosphere without being pulled in by the forces of gravity. But this is exactly what this meteor did. In order to accomplish such a feat, the space rock has to enter at an extremely shallow angle, and it also has to maintain its speed in order to escape the gravity. Earth's escape velocity is 7 miles per second, so this meteor was traveling much faster. Earth grazers may be rare, but they are not entirely harmless. The massive explosion that took place over Tunguska in the year 1908 is now thought to have been caused by a space rock that became an Earth grazer, first hitting the atmosphere, followed by a shock wave, and then finally skimming back out of the atmosphere. The absence of an impact crater led scientists to portend that the space rock could very well fit the category of an Earth grazer. About a week after the spectacular Bolid fireball event across the east-central United States, another very bright fireball was seen traveling across the eastern seaboard on October the 6th, at 611 Universal Time, spotted on camera near the Maryland-Pennsylvania border. The event was reported across 10 states, including this capture from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The number of potentially dangerous asteroids that have either crossed Earth's orbit or that have approached closer than one lunar distance are quite staggering. And there seems to be no real indication on exactly how many are out there that have yet to be discovered. This graphic shows the orbit of known Earth-crossing asteroids, which number in the thousands. But it is currently estimated that there are about 1,000 Earth-crossing asteroids larger than one kilometer. These asteroids are deemed potentially dangerous because they are at least 460 feet across and they pass within 4.7 million miles of Earth's orbit. All of them are continuously being tracked and analyzed by space agencies from around the world. As of this date, there has been a total of 72 asteroids classified as near-Earth objects that have approached Earth within one lunar distance and this number is expected to increase before year's end. The time of discovery of these close approaches is disturbing because the majority of them were not discovered until they had already passed by. The remainder were either discovered within a 24-hour period or within seven days before their passage. When we learn of the dangers associated with objects from space, there will always be a genuine fear of its effect upon the Earth. And we know that 2020 has already had more than its share of bad news events. On this date, October the 7th, another large asteroid named 2020 RK2 crossed the Earth's orbit. The space rock traveled at a speed of 14,942 miles per hour. It was estimated to be between 118 and 256 feet in diameter, and it made its closest approach 
at a safe distance of 23 million miles. The asteroid, which was spotted just last month, originates from the Andromeda constellation, which is more than 10 billion light years away, and is part of the Apollo category of space rocks. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe, and always keep looking to the sky. Thank you.